Uh, welcome guys. Uh, today I am planning to start a new course on Golang uh, Solid Principles Implementation. So what I am thinking here is uh, uh, to explain the how we can uh, use the, the solid principles effectively using Golang. So here uh, before starting the course we need a prerequisite like Golang installation and visible source code for the code uh, to implement the things and uh, we will introduce the solid principles and what are solid principles and why are the solid principles are important so solid principles yes stands for like a single responsibility principle we'll try to implement uh, and understand this single responsibility principle we'll try to see like how we can uh, achieve that in using golang Open close principle, we will uh, talk about this as well by understanding OCP principle and also uh, writing code uh, using the Golang for the same. And uh, third one is uh, Lixiv substitution principle. This also we will see how we can implement using Golang and also we will try to understand in general how it is, uh, how the principle says. And, uh, and the fourth one is uh, interface segregation principle. Uh, this principle will use for the interfaces, uh, how we can use it, how we can apply this in the Golang. And we'll try to understand the more details with the hands-on coding. And last one is the dependency inversion principle. We'll try to implement a dependency inversion principle in Golang. And also we'll try to understand more about this. And once we understood the basics of all the things, uh, we'll try to implement the combination of all these principles and we'll build a small project uh, as part of the course. And also we'll see like uh, how you can test the solid principles code. And also we'll see like uh, how we can uh, uh, test driven development uh, using solid principles. And also we'll see like common patterns and anti patterns. Uh, like a design pattern that uh, contains solid principles and also we'll see how we can avoid the anti-patterns uh, of the same. At the end we will uh, discuss again the all solid principles whatever we learned and also we'll see like best practices uh, for implementing solid principles in Golang and also we'll see the future of solids in uh, Golang. Thank you.